I'm Adam Schultz, an author and explorer, author of the best-selling book, uh, The Whisper on the Night Wind, uh, which is actually about an expedition I did deep into the Canadian wilderness, specifically Labrador, to try to solve a, a mystery involving an abandoned place, an old fur trade post that was supposedly haunted uh, by some sort of unknown creature a hundred years ago. Uh, to investigate this mystery, I teamed up with a guy by the name of Zach Junkin, who, among other things, happens to be an MMA fighter. But he expects oh, a call this! Nice. Flick right is stunned! Flick oh. is down and out! And that yeah, one yeah. is over! Zach Junkin bringing... Wow! Together, we drove to Labrador to explore. So you're going to see some of the footage from that expedition. Spider web over here, look at this. See something up in here? Looks like there's something of a camp or something. We found a skull. larger bear track here. And this is quite fresh. I'm gonna say it's from today. Is it a mother and cubs? Because, uh... It does look like a mother and cubs. Right. So you can see there's the larger track. And there's a smaller track over here. So probably a mother black bear and a baby black bear. And they went somewhere through that thicket. So that bear was here very recently. It can't have gone far. Or oh, wow. In the mud over here, two different creatures moved through here. These giant ones are moose tracks. And you can see how big that is in comparison to my hand. And again, the stride is gigantic. Perfect. Lead the way, Zach. All right. I'm leading the way. All right. Yeah. We got something over here, an old structure. It's a fireweed. And we definitely got something here. Oh yeah. This is exactly what we've been looking for. Nice. So we found the former site of Traverse Pine, which was a small trading post and you can see some ruins behind me here. We're in a bit of a clearing. We're gonna spend the night on this spot, camped out, and uh, see what happens. So we're just getting ready to go to sleep for the night. It's a full moon and a bit of a cold night, but we've got our canoe over there. Those are our tents. Your tent. Wow, your tent's very well camouflaged. <laughs> it's a full moon tonight. You can see it through the trees there. Yeah, we set up the trail cam on a likely spot in the woods there, and we're gonna crawl in our tents and call it a night. And it's a uh, pretty Pretty interesting and a little eerie to be on this site where uh, that notorious incident happened a hundred years ago. Zach, do you have any thoughts? I'm uh, 
let's see what happens. I'll tell you, we'll see if anything uh, comes out of here. So we'll try to get some sleep. I don't know if we'll get any or not. You said you would sleep like the dead. It was an interesting metaphor. <laughs> Ship. There's an abandoned ghost ship out there, likely bottomed out on a rock. That looks almost otherworldly. made camp here. The sun is going down. It's a windy night, so we've got our tent secured as well as we can. Uh, that's salt water behind me here, and uh, if the wind dies down tomorrow morning, we should make it to the mouth of the river, and then we're going to head up river into the mountains and see if we can find any caves. Where we really need a rope. Yeah. I can see how you lost the toenail. Oh, there's the mountains. Fuck yeah. Finally. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Nope. Did you call that a perfect example? Yep. 
still alive, therefore perfect. And we got where we needed to get to. Wow, you're a glass half full kind of guy, I like it. We're just making camp here on this bank and we found some fresh uh, bear tracks, but we don't have anywhere else to camp because the whole area is kind of uh, mudslides and then just chest high raspberry bushes. But here's a fresh bear track right there. Oh, so you don't think we can get up through that? All right, maybe come back here then. We can get in here. Yeah. Those are the mountains we're heading towards and that we want to explore. We find some caves and climb to the summit. There really wasn't anywhere great to camp, so we've uh, kind of cleared out an area here, knocked over some trees, and uh, set our tents up on the slope. We're gonna be heading that way, uphill toward the mountain tomorrow. And this is the setup we've got going on here. We got a little fire pit dug out there. Hard miles today, man. It was a pretty hard day of battling up a river. Uh, we spent a lot of the time in the water wading and dragging the canoe behind us because there were so many rapids. And uh, this is as far up the river as we're gonna go. From here, it's all on foot. And we're gonna head up the mountain and see if we can find any caves and try to get to the summit. We're deep in the Canadian wilderness, somewhere in the interior of Labrador, uh, far from any trails, and we are bushwhacking our way to the mountains behind me here. Those are the Mealy Mountains, and uh, we are just in this thicket, and we've been hiking through this uh, for a kilometer or so, so far, but, you know, that's basically where we're going, so we're just hacking through. No trail, and my GPS batteries are dead, so we're just Mostly navigating with the sun. Oh, I just fell through to a stream. Oh, God. Okay. Got a bit of a soaker. Yikes. That's where I fell in. Very hard to see where you're going in here. And then we emerged through the thicket into this amazing uh, almost like an alpine meadow in the shadow of these mountains, uh, but it's actually muskeg. Uh, beneath our feet are little pitcher plants, uh, carniferous, carniferous plants, and sphagnum moss, but we're gonna cut 
along the side of this muskeg and head for the highest peak over there. Almost like something out of a, an ancient legend or a fairy tale. This almost mythical landscape that we've come into. But we've made camp in the shadow of the mountain there. Uh, that's the mountain. And uh, we made camp in here. Hopefully a tree doesn't fall on us. We've got a fire going over there to try to dry off some of these bugs. We just found a little pond back there in the woods, which is where we're going to take uh, water from. But we've been eating blueberries and lingonberries and crowberries and some uh, gooseberries or currants. And now i got to get my tent set up here. But uh, as you can see, the train was pretty rough. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be in rags by the time we get through this thing. We're working our way up the mountain slope here and we just came across some fresh bear crap. You can see it down here. It's pretty massive. Thoughts? Seen lots of uh, big sets of droppings, so it'd be interesting to see just how big these bears are. Uh -huh. We're getting to the upper slope here, and we just discovered a pretty serious cave up ahead there. 